So it was a photo finish uh, between Bernie and Mayor Pete looking at the latest uh, updates. Uh, Bernie came out with 25.7%. This is uh, just reporting uh, a few minutes ago, 98% reporting 25.7%. And Buttigieg got 24.4%. And the non-surprise, if you've been listening to the show, Amy Klobuchar moving up with 19.8%. Sad Elizabeth Warren and very sad Joe Biden did not do go do all that well. Here is Bernie celebrating his his victory. Let me say tonight that this victory here is the beginning of the end for Donald Trump. With victories behind us, popular vote in Iowa and the victory here tonight, we're going to Nevada, we're going to South Carolina, we're going to win those states as well. Communism hasn't worked because it hasn't been tried yet. <laughs> As a kid who knows what he's talking about because he's a kid, so he doesn't know anything. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. This is a this is a system that is not entirely in people's control. Ideas have this power and they move on their own. Here's a really fascinating uh, graphic from the Washington Post where democracy dies in darkness because they turn off the lights before they strangle it. The voters are prioritizing defeating Trump over issues. This is a, these are exit polls. More than six in 10 voters said they preferred a candidate who could beat Trump over someone who agrees with them on the issues. Who agrees with them on the issues? Bernie Sanders, 39 percent. Buttigieg, 21 percent. Klobuchar, 12 percent. But who do they think can beat Donald Trump? Sanders only gets 21 percent, then Buttigieg leads with 28 percent, and Klobuchar has, gets 20 percent, which is the number of votes, the percentage of votes she got. That is a really, really interesting thing to see, that they think that Buttigieg can win. I don't believe that's true, but they think that Klobuchar can win because Klobuchar had the guts to stop, to get off the car of ideas. She got off the car of ideas and said, wait, socialism is not such a good thing. Joseph Epstein talks about, uh, in the Wall Street Journal, is a good writer, and he talked uh, today about the way ideas simply take over and the way progressivism is always outstripping the progressives. People are always nervous that they're not progressive enough, and people who are far left have a power over the minds. Orwell noticed this, and Epstein talks about that. Orwell noticed this, the people who are to the far left, communists, have a power over the minds of mere liberals. And the reason I think that's true is because liberals are not living out the idea to its extreme and ideas want to go to the extreme. You are on that roller coaster for clowns. The ideas are carrying you along. And what Epstein says is by ceding moral authority to the far left, the Democrats have lost the power to counter bizarre proposals with simple common sense. He says when a freshman congresswoman proposes a wildly improbable Green New Deal, instead of responding as Democrats of an earlier day would have with, what are you kidding me? They now take it seriously and several adopt it. And when two other freshman Democrats make anti-Semitic pronouncements, no one in a party overwhelmingly the choice of Jewish voters uh, has the authority to tell them to knock it off. When Democrat presidential candidates propose to provide free health care for all or eliminate college tuition and college debt or enlarge and pack the Supreme Court or eliminate the Electoral College, all of this is taken seriously. The ideas are in control. People have the chance to stop them and get off the car, but it's very, very difficult to do. I hope you enjoyed that clip from The Andrew Clavin Show. If you did, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you stay up to date on all our future content.